Hey guys! Um, today I'm going to be taking you through the basics of spinning. So if you're a very basic skater, no, not a basic skater, because I'm a basic skater, but if you're a beginner skater, let's redo. Today I'm going to be taking you through a how to spin tutorial. We're going to start, the first thing that you have to really do is get used to being dizzy. So just... even faster by making your axis tighter. You're going to start off with the marching, then you're going to pull your arms together. Things you want to watch out for, you want to cross your arms like this so you get as tight as possible. Bring your inner thighs together. Pull it off at the same time. So watch this. After you get used to marching and then pulling your feet together, I want you to try the spin from a pivot. So this is what a pivot is. If you're like most skaters and you're rotating counterclockwise, you're going to put your left toe kick in the ice, wind up your arms, left arm across your chest, bend both knees, push into your right leg. You don't want to spin on your toe pick. You want to spin on this little curve right here. And this curve right behind your the last little toe pick, this is called your rocker, and that is your sweet spot. So you want to start to feel this. jumps, your spins, and overall extensions in your skating. So you're going to want your right knee over your right toe. Don't want it going too far or out. Work on being right over your toe. And then the left toe always extends and points. You don't want your foot like this. Knee men want the right leg bent, left leg straight, left arm slightly in front. So you're going to half circle and push up. After that, as you evolve through your spins, you're gonna want to start to do your one foot spin from a leftward outside edge. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in your T position, left foot in front, left arm always in front, and you're gonna bend into the ice. You're basically going to do a big three turn, you turn around yourself and curl into your skate, kind of like a lollipop. So here's your three turn, curve into the circle. So it'll look like this. Hold this, rise up, move your rock. Here's the three turn, and then it winds up into the spin. And as you practice your spins, you want to practice centering. You don't want to travel. Traveling is, traveling equals a twizzle. He's got Really good spinners. I wouldn't say that they're only in one spot, but they tend to travel within the same diameter. <laughs> so here we go again. Position, left foot in front, right foot behind, wind up, bend your knee, hold this first edge as long as you can so that you can whoop, soup it up into a fast spin. So pull this, move to the side, so then we're going to fit in another upgrade. Next you're going to work on your scratch spins. So scratch spins, Go to the side, the heel to the, the top of your leg, your thigh, and then you're going to drill it all the way down. Yes, we're going to work on crossing your leg now. Same entrance, T position, left arm in front, push hold, three to the side, then push. When your leg is to the side, your arms are out in second position. And you bring them in as your leg goes here, and then you drill in at the same time. So one, two, oh wait, one, two, and then pull it in. So that's your sketch print. And then in order to upgrade that, you're gonna start to do these from backward crossovers. So I recommend going one, two, three backward crossover, hold that inside edge, and then you're gonna push into the spin the same way you did from the teeth. Wind up against your hip and push, push, rise up, cross your legs. And close. Not bad, not bad centering, right? A little bit of a travel, but pretty good. That is the first spin, first couple spins that you should start practicing. And then this is where we get to the fun stuff because you can either go into your sit spin or you can start working on your back spin. In order to start working on your back spin, I recommend starting out with uh, change one foot spins. And the thing is you can work on them for a really long time, but first you're gonna start with just one change of position. So one foot spin. In order to start practicing your back one foot spin, same thing as your forward, scratch, uh, forward one foot spin, start with the pivot. So instead of the left toe on the ice, you're going to put your right toe on the ice, wind up your left arm, you're going to open your foot, practice your back pivot first, you're just going to push your left leg out, get over your right hip. Push. So that's your back outside pivot. Next, you're going to start doing your back one foot spin. So you're going to push and then pull up over your right leg. Watch my feet this time. Uh, you'll notice that the back one foot spin requires a lot more control going into the landing position because you're already on that foot. You don't get to do a push up. So from here, you're going to do hold back and then stay over your right side, bend into the knee, yes? And see how I cross my arms? 
I personally like to uh, grab my right wrist. Left arm grabs my right wrist, and then I pull it over my right side, especially on back, the back one foot spin. But scratch spin, I usually generally just stay right in the middle. Then, in order to make this even harder, you're gonna start working on your back spin. And back spin is my favorite spin because it is the basis for all jumps. So, if there's any spin to spend extra time on, it's your back spin. So, start to work on your back spin from your back pivot. Right foot in the ice, left arm crosses in front, push, and then get used to crossing your foot. If you wanna make it even faster, you're gonna start just like your scratch pin. Leg out to the side, start up nice and high, and reel down. Push. As that gets easier for you, then you're gonna wanna take it onto a, a little bit more of a difficult entrance. You're gonna do it from a inside three turn. So start off with the left, a tiny little left inside edge. you want to always feel like you're drilling into the ice. On the back spin, you're going to go right arm comes through and then pulling over your right side. Alright guys, that is your beginning intro into spinning. I hope this helps. Let me know what other exercises you're looking for and good luck with your spins.